Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now Bethesda recommend or rather require an SSD as part of the minimum system requirements for Starfield and after playing for a few hours it's clear to see why. Whether you're fast travelling, investigating the inside of buildings or entering your spacecraft there will be loading screens. Though in my experience these have been very brief most of the time. I'm currently playing on an i5 12400F system with an RTX 4060 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM and a Kingston NV2 NVMe SSD. This is one of the cheapest M.2 drives available where I live and it's more than suitable for everyday usage as well as all of my gaming needs. In fact I'd recommend an SSD be it NVMe or SATA to anyone looking to build even a low cost and perhaps used parts PC in 2023. It will make all the difference. But is it really required here? Well, I've dug this old WD Caviar Black out from the back of the drawer, and today we're going to be playing Starfield on it. This decade old beast has seen over 50,000 hours of usage, but according to benchmarking software, it is still in good health. After waiting 25 minutes for the game to be transferred to the HDD in Steam, we were ready to play. All gameplay shown from now on was captured externally with the game running on the hard drive. The first obstacle to overcome was the initial loading screen after selecting continue from the main menu. I won't make you sit through the whole thing, but from hitting confirm to the moment we were in game, the time amounted to 1 minute and 30 seconds, which I thought wasn't that bad to be honest. The Kingston SSD did it in just 14 seconds by comparison, but I was anticipating a much longer wait time for the old caviar drive. As for the actual gameplay, well it was quite stuttery. There were random freezes, of which lasted different amounts of time. Sometimes it would be a couple of milliseconds before gameplay resumed as normal, and sometimes I thought the game had frozen completely. It never did though, which I am happy to report. Though random dips and drops aren't exactly going to be convenient, especially in cases where the action heats up. Walking about and exploring still felt doable to some degree. Of course, entering buildings was more sluggish, and so was leaving, which took longer with both the SSD and HDD, but this is understandable as the game is loading a lot more on the way out. After stuttering around the city a little longer, I made my way to the spaceship and headed for another planet. This one seems to be affected by some seriously extreme weather conditions as clouds just appear out of nowhere. Seriously though, once the hard drive had loaded everything or mostly everything, exploration here felt a bit better. There were still problems of course and it's easy to see why an SSD is recommended by Bethesda. I also encountered some NPCs here who had the magical ability to freeze my game just by staring at them, but again things continued after a couple of seconds. It also seemed like a long, lonely and boring stint in space had given these people plenty of time to work on their ventriloquism act because I have never seen anyone pull off the art of delaying their voice so impeccably before. You should leave the site after you're done shopping. There's no way we'll get this job done on time with a crew this size. Ferrolite hired us to build a factory. They're expanding their operation. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that. Of course, just another side effect of using a hard drive here, or maybe it's just my hard drive. Overall, I wouldn't say the game is completely unplayable or broken with a traditional 7200 RPM HDD, but it is frustrating to play. From what I've seen so far, this game may struggle on older or lower end hardware and an HDD could make an already just about playable experience that much worse, especially if you've got a low frame rate to contend with already and then your percentile lows are massively affected by the drive itself. Something that would have really affected our minimum system requirements build in yesterday's video. But there we go, I wanted to test Starfield on a hard drive just to see what it was like. Different storage solutions will vary of course, but as always, I encourage you to leave your thoughts, maybe details of your own experiences with a hard drive in the comments. Thank you very much for watching as always, if you enjoyed this one leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to of course, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.